Hello everyone, my name is Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to show you how to do this video in text title trailer intro inspired by the movie trailer 1917 all inside Premiere Pro. Let's get into the video. So I have a clip in my timeline. First thing I'm going to do is create a title by pressing T on my keyboard and clicking on the program monitor. I'm going to name the title Dead End. The font I'm using is Lemonade Milk and I'm going to mess around with the scale and text parameters to make sure the title just about covers the program monitor. Now making sure the text layer in your timeline is in track video layer two. I'm gonna select the clip in video track layer one. I'm gonna go into my effects panel and type in track matte key. Drag the track matte key effect into the effects control panel, making sure the clip is highlighted. Now under matte, select whatever video layer the title clip is on. So in this case, it's video track layer two. As you can see, the text now shows the video inside it. To create the fly through effect, I'm gonna select the title clip, go into the effects control panel and type in basic 3D. Drag the basic 3D effect into the effects control panel. This is important. Make sure the basic 3D effect rests above the text layer effect in the effects control panel. Otherwise the fly through text effect will not work. Making sure the title clip is highlighted. Next, I'm gonna go along my timeline and set a keyframe of where I want the text animation to end. So here is perfect. Next, I'm just gonna increase the scale of the text a tiny bit more so that it fills the size of the program monitor like so. Now I'm going to set a keyframe under scale and position by pressing the stopwatch button. And lastly, I'm going to set another keyframe on distance to image. The reason why I'm using the basic 3D effect instead of increasing the scale is so that the text layer doesn't lose quality. Now I'm going to go back to near the beginning of my timeline and move the distance to image so that the letter is super close. It's not quite lining up the way I want it. So I'm going to change the position like so. Play around with the position and distance to image so that you can fully see the video clip. And that's perfect. And as you can see, as we change the effects, it automatically sets keyframes. So all we need to do now is press play. If you wanna make it look more natural on the last keyframe on distance to image, right click and select ease in. This will slow it down as it stops rather than abruptly stopping. And that's it. My name is Jermaine Grant. Take care and I'll see you again soon.